Hallo! Hallo? Hallo? Hallo! Hallo! Hey guys, welcome to episode 250. Right, for this video guys, as you can see I've been joined by my mate Darren. Hello! And we are at Todd Manor. And we are on Paddock Lake. We are aiming for catfish this session. We're here for four days, so we've got a nice mega session, plenty of time to uh, get a few catfish in. We're currently stood in Darren's peg, peg seven. I'm the next one to the left in peg six. As it stands, I didn't even have the camera ready to go, but Nor did about I. <laughs> 15 minutes ago. Yeah, we're still setting up. Uh, Darren's just had a catfish, so uh, I'll nick one of his photos and put that up for you now. So, well done mate. Thank you very that's, much. That's uh, Darren's new PB catfish, that is. £36. £36.10. 10, yeah. yeah. Yeah, my previous was 32 before that. So, so yeah, so, I'm yeah. get wet later, I think. <laughs> so, good start for Darren. I haven't even got my rods out yet because uh, we actually got here a little bit early. I got the base camp and everything set up and then I just was, was watching the Russian Grand Prix. So, uh, but that's finished. The rods are virtually ready to go out now. The rigs are baited up. So, I'm nearly virtually ready to fish. And I'm fishing. So, right, with that, yeah, let's go fishing. Right guys, so as I've just said in the intro, when we are in Darren's swim, I got peg six and this is my peg. So what I got in front of me to fish at? But directly in front of me, there's a small island, the one with the fir trees on. <coughs> And to start off with, I think I might fish two rods up against the island. You can fish tight to the island here because they don't slope off or anything. They are straight down and even undercut here. So you can literally bump your bait boat right up against the island and, and uh, you'll be nice and tight. And uh, like I said, it's probably even undercut, if anything. Uh, to the left of me, I've got a bit of open water and then I probably won't use my right hand margin at all because that goes towards Darren. Darren is quite close in peg seven. But down to the left of me as well, I've got some nice uh, margins I could, um, I could fish to as well if I wanted to. Peg five is um, a little bit further down the bank so uh and i believe peg five has uh, really just as kind of the left side of that open water so if anyone does turn up in peg five there's uh that'll be their water but at the moment there's no one in peg five so i could use all that water at the moment but uh but yeah there's a. Uh, a nice little overhang of bushes off, right off the corner of the island. I'll probably put my middle rod to. Yeah. yeah, probably just, yeah, open water left rod, corner of the island, middle rod. Flat bank, middle of the island with the right hand rod is probably where I'll go to start the session. As I said in the intro, we are fishing for catfish. So, I've got, got a big sack of uh, pellet with me so uh, right anyway right let's diver in let's get the rods out right and guys so the first rod is just about to go out rig is already in the boat we'll have a look at the rig in more detail later on in the in the blog but uh, just for now I want to get the rods out so uh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll look at the rigs later on in the blog sometime. Right. 
as I said, got a big sack of pellet, the old uh, Hinders big bite pellet. And because we are fishing for the catfish, I'm going to be feeding quite a lot of pellet. So, oh, got me big scoop with me. Oh, I'm gonna put a really good, a really good helping of pellet in the boat. I mean, that, that almost fills a hopper up. If that's, if that's not a kilo, that's probably close to a kilo, guys. But like I say, we are fishing for the catfish. I am wanting the big catfish. So, uh, so we will be feeding a lot of pellet to uh, try and entice these catfish in. All right, got a bit of a drop down to the water, so hopefully I can get that done without falling in. I'm sure some of you might be saying that's really close range fishing, you don't need the bait boat. But the purpose of a bait boat is just to get a lot of bait out for the cats. So First rod is in, tight to the island guys. Alright, that's it in guys, so uh, I've just put all three rods out now. Only showed one rod going out for now, four days here, got plenty of time to see other rods going out between now and four days time. So, as I said earlier on, middle rod, there's a little overhang off the corner of the island, which uh, I've Drop the middle rod to, and then the left hand rod's just gone to open water. Probably about the same range as the line of the island, but about two rod lengths to the left of the island I've gone. So, uh, so that's it. Finally fishing. All right, time to relax now, and uh, hopefully. I think catfish will start playing their part soon. Good evening guys. Um, as you can probably tell, it's pitch black. Only just 8 o'clock, but these dark nights are already in, so... We're very, very autumnal already. Didn't seem very long ago, it was still completely daylight at this time of day but now complete darkness but anyway not too much waffle uh nothing's really happened on in my swim since the rods went out had a bit of a liner on the middle rod um i sort of sat by the rod for a while see if anything would happen but it didn't uh all i did was wind a bit of line back onto the spool to tighten up the uh, uh the loose line that the liner had left me but uh i haven't redone the rods or anything because i left it quite late in the day before actually putting them out so uh i haven't redone them for the evening or anything like that but anyway the night is getting a bit condensate now so i'm gonna put the camera away so it doesn't get ruined. Hopefully I can get it out during the night and have something to show you. But if it doesn't, I'll see you in the morning guys. Oh, good morning guys. And uh, I would say it was a quiet night. And for the fishing side of it, it was. 
well, for me anyway, uh, I, I don't know what time it was, but uh, Darren had a 42 pound catfish in the night. But then after that, weather-wise, Jesus Christ, I've never known winds like it. Uh, and spin the camera around. So, uh, there's me barrow with me rod bag on it. Obviously, I didn't leave it like that. It was just on the grass here. But that's how windy it was last night. It was so windy, it blew me uh, barrow over and me rod bag. Uh, coming for a little walk round round me uh, round me uh, bivy. That's it. Well, it's one of me side bars. That that should be on there. Uh, That's me back support off me off me bivy. That should have been on there. Uh, that one's also come off. That should have been on there. And also the top bar. I don't even know where that is. Uh, <laughs> yeah, don't, don't know where the top bar even is. So, um, for one of my landing nets I did have on the side. Yeah, so suffice to say, it was quite windy last night. Um, oh, I'm quite surprised. My unlucky mat never blew away. But yeah, suffice to say, guys, it was very, very windy last night. So, right, I'm going to put the camera down. Gonna pick me barrow up. Gonna try and find where me top bar is for me bivy. Uh, and then we'll redo the rods. <laughs> and guys, uh, just about to put the rods back out on this second morning. And while the weather's a bit more better, I thought I'll uh, show you the rigs I'm fishing for these catfish before uh, I put them back out. So we'll start off with the business end. So I'm fishing uh, quite a big uh, pellet, that's a mega betaine pellet from Hinders and underneath that I've got a 18 mil pop-up. Uh, as you can see quite a bit of separation from the bait to the hook with catfish it doesn't really matter they're just big vacuum cleaners a lot of separation between bait and hook with catfish especially the size of the ones in here doesn't matter and then as you can see an actual dedicated um catfishing hook these are ones i got from angling don't what make are they cat oh catfish pro so I have size two catfishing hooks. And I've got that tangled. So yeah, actual dedicated catfishing hooks. And then we've got uh, just over a foot, about 18 inches of coated braid, 25 pound coated braid. Leave the coating on all the way through, hair and everything. That's uh, just to um, protect the hook link from being snapped against the uh, the catfish's 
kind of velcro like teeth that they have and that is mounted to a running rig just got a light lead on there two ounce lead but it's a running rig and that's on a leader of about a meter long so that's the rig nothing too majorly complicated and then obviously it's all going out in the bait boat with a good helping of pellets to uh, entice the catfish in with. Not that it's worked yet for me. <laughs> but this is the rig how I fished for catfish before, which has worked for me before, so no reason to change anything up. And as it goes, uh, Darren's had three catfish up to now and he's using pretty much exactly the same rig because he copied it off of one of my old blogs he's seen me for, uh, seen me fishing for catfish before. So Darren is pretty much fishing an identical rig. So, uh... right, anyway, let's waffle, let's get him out in the water. Right guys, so two rods already out, right hand rod, that's up against the island, middle rod, that's just off the corner of the island. I couldn't actually put it under the uh, overhang of where the kind of the foliage is overhanging anymore because after last night's winds it's bent it across so more it's actually kind of bent over and touching the water now so I can't actually get the bait boat under there anymore like I did yesterday so, uh, so I've literally dropped it off just off the corner now so uh, this is third and final rod to go out. Uh, yesterday I had the third, say third rod, left hand rod out in open water. But because uh, I've not had anything yet, I'm going to try um, dropping it off down my left hand margin today. Uh, main reason for trying up against the margins up against the reeds is because uh, where Darren's fishing in his swim he's got two rods up against reeds himself and uh, he always has three fish one fish off of each rod Two of his fish have come up against the reeds where he's fishing and at the moment I'm not fishing up against any reeds so um so that's what I'm gonna do with this third rod. So the only reeds I can really fish is down my left hand margin so uh that is where this rod is about to go. really sure if the water levels are down at all at the moment but it's a it's a good couple of foot at least to get down from this edge down to the actual the water level right let's get this back lead on and then that's it all three rods are now fishing again, guys. Hi. Right. And after last night's palaver with the weather, Oh, 
At least he's come away from that island. Oh, oh, spoke too soon, didn't I? Oh, I've gone all the way over the other side of the bloody lake. gain on it because all the way over buddy almost the mate swim on the other side of the lake. Christ and that's a tight clutch. That's what she said. How does it go, Chris? <laughs> oh. Bloody. Definitely a cat, mate. Oh no! Bugger. So I stopped recording now. Alright, I don't think there was it, it was just going and going and going. Couldn't stop it, could you? And then it, uh. Oh, the line just went round the island and cut me off. Nothing I could do about it. Bugger. That's a shit, innit? Don't worry, it only looked about £80. Ah, <sighs> oh, sorry, mate. That was a tight clutch as well. That's like... <sighs> oh, and and that, that catfish was just... Ripping it off. Oh, physically, I'd cut my fingers if I tried to pull that anymore. <sighs> oh well. Bugger. Okay, so I've finally got that middle rod back out after that, uh, after that fish loss. Uh, I wasn't prepared to uh, actually lose any tackle because I didn't have any spare rigs made up. That includes the the leaders with a running setup that I've got. And uh, 
I didn't actually have any leader material with me so I just had to quickly run down to the shop which is only <laughs> it's only 100 yards away 150 yards away so quickly ran down the shop and uh, bought some more leader material got some more uh, running leader setups that I'm using made up one's obviously out plus I've actually made a spare now just in case that happens again uh, yeah tied a new length and we're back out on the same spot so uh, I mean why wouldn't you go to the same spot when you've had a run but but wow what what a powerful fight that was and yeah just, just couldn't stop it like I said the I'd gone far left as I could to get the best angle on it and well you, 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 you saw what happened just so eventually the fish went round the island and cut me off uh, but anyway uh, we are back out there again now oh time to chill and relax again <laughs> Right and guys, so since that lost fish earlier on and when the rod went back out, it's uh, it's been a quiet day. A uh, couple of liners on the middle rod actually that I had the lost fish on, but um, but yeah, nothing has happened. Uh, Darren to my right hasn't had nothing as a lad to my left who had a 34 kind of a mid-afternoon but uh but yeah it's just been really quiet so uh it's just gone six o'clock now but i think actually about half past six now so um so probably in the next hour or so I mean the sun's just a, a on the kind of tree line of the trees behind me here so uh so probably in the next hour it's gonna start getting dark so gonna pull the rods in refresh all the hook baits I'm still gonna fish to the same spots no reason why to change anything on that side of it but uh but yeah Basically, that's just my latest update. Is uh, I'm gonna pull all the rods in, put fresh hook baits for going into tonight, and then um, and then see what happens. Don't know how much filming I'll be able to do tomorrow. Looking at the weather app, we've got rain pretty much forecast for all of tomorrow. So, God knows how much filming I'll be able to do tomorrow, if any. But um. But yeah, anyway, right, let's get these rods pulled in guys and then uh like I said we can we can get some fresh up baits on. Hi right, guys, uh I said just getting the rods out now. First rod up against the flat of the island has already gone out. This a beat the middle rod, that's gonna go off the corner of the island where I had that run from earlier on. scoop of this big bite pellet from Indus. That's it. Fill that hopper up. Give the catfish plenty of plenty to munch on. And the hook bait can sit on top there. Lovely jovely. Pellet down on the hook link just to keep it way down. Lovely Jaffle. Right. Darren's just in the middle of getting his uh, rods out as well for the evening. Might be able to hear his bait boat. Sounds like a tank. There we go. With my quiet bait boat. <laughs> Corner where I 
right guys I'm gonna get the camera away after I've brought this bait boat back in but uh, when I do the left hand rod I'm gonna put it in the same place where I put it earlier on and that's down this left hand margin right guys I have got absolutely no idea what time it is I'd say it's Tuesday morning 20 past 5 20 past 5. Oh, so it is Tuesday morning. But I have just had a right battle royale with a... Uh, uh, proper pussycat. even hold it up properly because it's so bloody long. Oh, Dan's going to come and hold the tail up for me. There we go guys. <laughs> that is a monster isn't it? 44 pounds on the nose guys. Oh, what a battle. Finally got a cat in the bag and what a way to do it with uh, 44 pounds on the nose. Wow. Whew. Happy now. Right, let's try and get a few pictures and then uh, we get this beast back to the deep. Whew. Whew. So, good morning, guys. So, uh, I'm just currently tying another hook length because uh, I wound all my rods in this morning when I had a quick shower. Well, oh, you know, I'd been on the bank for two days now, so it was uh, time for a wash and refresh. But uh, when I wound in my left hand rod, I had a great big swan muscle clamped over the hook. <laughs> so uh, that rod wasn't doing anything during the night, but um, but yeah, once I pulled the swan muscle off the hook, it had, uh, it had completely Dulled the hook and the point had gone, so uh, so I'm having to tie a new hook length for uh, one of my rods. Uh, yeah, I mean, what's the take? It's about half, half past ten now, so uh, it's uh, time's getting on a bit, so I haven't even had any breakfast or anything yet, but uh. So I'll get my rods back out and then I'll have some breakfast. But yeah, I certainly feel a bit better now I've got the got the blank out the way and in a quite impressive form as well with that 44 pounder. I was just chatting to the lad to, who's fishing to my left and he's had uh, quite a few fish but none have been as big as the one I had last night so uh, which is fine you know I only wanted the I only come for the big ones anyway Hi right, guys so that is all three rods out as I said I had to charge the camera so I didn't bother filming where they where they were going this time. I uh, have made a couple of changes. Middle rod, that's off the corner of the island. That's where I've had both my runs from so far, so obviously that stayed where it is. Right hand rod that I was fishing tight up against the island. I mean, that's, I mean, what, we're almost 48 hours into this session now, and that hasn't done any bleeps, knocks, nothing, so I've I've kind of gone in the same direction, but 
halfway to the island, so just open water between me and the island now. Uh, because both my runs I've had have come off the corner of that island. Uh, left that rod is now in that kind of general vicinity to obviously not the exact same spot but I've dropped it about a rod length off of the corner of the island so uh, so now the middle and left hand rods are only fishing like a rod length apart so uh, so so that seems to be the, the spot that's doing it for me well, I say doing it for me I've, I've only had two runs but but that's the spot I've had my runs from so so yeah so two rods there or thereabouts on that spot now right it is actually nearly lunchtime now but I haven't had any breakfast yet so time to uh, feed myself as well as a catfish now Hey guys, so it's about five o'clock in the evening, going into the third night of fishing. Uh, as you can see and hear, weather is absolutely atrocious. It's been like this most of the day. Oh, I'd say only the level of wind and rain has varied, but it's pretty much been windy and rainy all day uh, no fishing action whatsoever nothing's happened I've been over to Darren sort of back and forth a few times today he's had no action today uh, the kitty is in the next room to my left which is like, just kind of over here somewhere uh, I think up until today he'd had a he'd had a a few fish but uh, when I saw him earlier on he said his action has dried up today as well so um, so yeah so it just seems like with this weather we've got today it's uh, it, it's just shut the lake down fishing wise it's absolutely nothing has happened so if this uh, weather breaks any time soon I will be pulling the rods in to put some fresh up baits on for, uh, for going into the third night but, um, but I'm certainly not doing it any time soon in this weather because I don't want to get cold and wet and I certainly don't want to get ill again through getting cold and wet so. Right, good evening guys uh, it's still raining, still windy. The rain about half hour ago, 45 minutes ago, stopped and I thought, brilliant, right, let's get the rods in, let's get them rebaited and re-put out for the for the night on fresh hook baits while I had the opportunity. Mother Nature wasn't playing. It stopped raining for literally three or four minutes while the rods come in and as soon as the rods come in it started lashing it down again. So the plus side is the rods have all been rebated with fresh hook baits for the night. The downside is I got absolutely drenched to the skin. <laughs> But yeah, I suppose the, the plus outweighs the negative because I know I can be confident now with uh, with the pellets lasting the night now. I've got fresh hook baits on. So it is still raining. My weather app says it's meant to stop raining in about the next hour. Whether it will or not, I don't know because it's it's still raining now if you can still hear it on the bivvy but uh but yeah so um i'm gonna put the camera away now guys and then uh hopefully can get another night bite tonight like i did last night so fingers crossed the uh 
catfish are being nocturnal like they were last night. So, all right, hopefully see you in the night, guys. Good morning, guys. I say good morning. It is just about morning. It's two o'clock in the morning. Unfortunately, I've just lost another catfish in exactly the same scenario as I lost the first one. And that's being where it was running and running and running. Just couldn't stop it. Clutch as tight as it could go. Or, well, almost. And, uh, yeah, the fish just, just ran and ran and ran until it got so far past the island. And, uh, Yeah, and then it, the line, my line just uh, scraped up against the island and cut me off. So yeah, exactly the same, exactly the same scenario as my first loss. What what you what you saw on film. So, so yeah, so just a. Uh, downside really to fishing for catfish they're, they're powerful creatures and when they're when you hook into a big one you just can't stop it and just yeah just unfortunately the downside of my swim I've got the island in front of me and if they run and run and then go around the corner then there's not a lot I can do about it apart from lock the clutch down tight as tight as it could go and if I did that it would just get snapped off anyway so uh, right so at two o'clock in the morning I'm having to having to re-rig right all fun and games. <laughs> oh, good morning guys. And today is the start of the last full day of fishing that we have. Uh, 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 yeah, last night was a bit of a bugger again. The run I had was on my right hand rod. So the rod that I'd uh, been fishing up against the island and then kind of switched to open water. But yeah, by the time I was kind of awake and got to the rod, the, the fish, I'd say, was kind of to the left of me and sort of... Mm, yeah, just sort of open water, but round to the left. And then by the time I'd kind of picked up the rod and kind of wound the clutch down, I'd say it was probably about in line with the island and then it was it was clearly another big catfish because I'd clamped the clutch down again as like I said last night as tight as it would practically go without it completely locking up and the fish was just tearing line off like no tomorrow so clearly another big fish powerful fish that I uh, had on again last night I'd gone all the way down the left hand side of the bank as far as I could to get the angle on to get the angle on the fish and uh but yeah it was just tearing too much line off and then I think they just know what to do because then it kited right, went round the island, line was rubbing up against the corner of the island here and then the inevitable happened and cut me off. So, Hey ho, today's another day. I'm going to pull all the rods in 
in a minute, put some fresh rook baits on. Like I say, luckily I anticipated that happening again because I've made up another running lead leader. Oh, hello. <laughs> and uh, so yeah, so re-rigging last night was uh, was quite quick because I'd already had a, another leader made up. I just had to quickly tie another hook length, which only took a couple of minutes. And rather than using a bait boat because it was my close in rod, I just flicked it, flicked it back out just to get fishing last night. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna bring all the rods in now, put some fresh hook baits on, and uh, fingers crossed, I, I can get my second fish landed. Alright, guys, so uh, the rods are going out now. As you can probably see, my left arm rod is out already. This is the uh, the middle rod, the area that I've had two of me three rod runs from. Uh, right, nice big L pin off that big bite pellet for these big old cats. I certainly don't worry about overfeeding on this lake with the size of the cats that's in here. Oh. So probably what's in that hopper is probably uh, one belly full for the big cats in here. This is the one that's going off to the, uh, the corner of the island. Right then, so that's it. All three rods are now out again. So we're stuck to more or less the same places. Right hand rod, just off the island. Middle rod, where I've had two of my three runs from off the point of the island. And uh, left hand rod is about a rod, rod length off, off for the point of the island. Right, time for the breakfast. Time to start the old waiting game again. <laughs> Why is me recording you? Because of what happened last time. And here we see the Carp King playing a monster of a catfish. The strength in his arms is believable.
least he's taking you away from the island. Or is he taking you towards that island? Yeah or not? No. Oh, there he is. Oh, he's right over matey's swim. Is that your? That's got to be your one, isn't it? in the margins, was it?
No, I don't think the thermal is working. Right guys, as you've just seen, just had an epic battle. Oh, I've got Darren to help me with uh, this one because uh, new PB. Right, let's see what we can do with this. <laughs> this. Big tadpole. All right, you ready? You got it? Yeah. God, he's eating oh. your freaking net again. There we go. Oh. <laughs> you all right? There you go, guys. <laughs> that is massive, isn't it? How about that? that is 48 huge. pound on, the, on nose. the nose. So it's now Chris 2, Cats 2. <laughs> I tell you, I might have only have had two, but. Two biggest. A 44 and a 48. That's not bad fishing, mate. How about that, then, guys? That is brilliant fishing. Like I say, new PB at exactly 48 pounds. Let's put him down a minute, shall we? Let's yeah. take some photos first. Oh. Oh. What well a mate. Cheers mate. Thanks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but he's one. I got it on mine. Oh. <laughs> that was colder than I was expecting. <laughs> Shit. Shit. Oh, wasn't I recording? No, but I was. Oh. <sighs> Cheers mate. That's right. Oh. That's so nice. Oh. <laughs> but we owe you a bucket from your PB yet, don't we? No. Yes. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Right. Right then, guys. Darren's going to return the fish for me because uh, I'm struggling to lift this beast with my bad back. But uh, yeah, here we go. 48 pounds of uh, slimy slug returning to the deep. You don't want to go, Chris. <laughs> Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, gone. And uh, what he didn't see on my camera, guys, is that I'm soaking wet because Darren just gave me the bucket for <laughs> a PB. I got it on my camera though. Yeah, watch Darren's blog, he recorded it on his camera. I need to change my clothes, guys, because I am freezing. But I'll take it for a new 48 pound PB catfish. Yes. Right, guys, so it's just coming up to 6 pm. Uh, the sun, although it looks bright at the moment, but the bright sun that there is is just kind of on the treetops of the trees behind the camera. So I uh, reckon another hour or so and it's going to start getting dark. So. Uh, Gonna pull all the rods in, refresh the baits as I've been doing every day now to uh, put some fresh hook baits on for the night. Like I said, this is the last night now, the fourth and final night tonight. So uh, fingers crossed, I'd like at least one more run and one more landed so I can at least say I'm beating the catfish three two. If you know, if I get a fifth run and I can land it. Then I can say, you know, I'm winning. <laughs> so, right, yeah, it's that time. I'm gonna pull all the rods in, like I said, refresh all the hook baits, shovel more pellet in the bait boat of each drop, and then, uh, that's it. 
hopefully get that third catfish on the bank. Another 40 would be nice. <laughs> right, that's the end guys. All three rods are now out for the final evening. This is the third and final rod that I've just done. Pop the back lead on, which I've just done there. Right, set the clutch. Nice and tight, obviously, fishing for the catfish. Right, I think, guys, we are set. So, this is it. Fourth and final nights of fishing. Like I said, as I said earlier on, I would like at least one more. I mean, two cats might not sound a lot over the four days, well, three days, so three and a half days that I've been here so far, but I've had four runs. I don't think the conditions for catfishing at the moment are perfect, to be completely honest with you. Is the conditions are a bit changeable, which isn't ideal. But, uh, but yeah, you know, we've, we've still had a few runs. But, yeah, I would like to get that one more so I can say I'm beating the Cat 3 too. Right. Fingers crossed for the night. Camera's going to go, go away now, guys. And, uh, yeah. Hopefully the camera can uh, come out again in the night. Ah, good morning guys, and welcome to the final morning. So, as you can guess by the lack of nighttime footage, absolutely nothing happened for me last night. I didn't even get so much as a bleep, a liner, nothing last night. Darren on the other hand, he had his six catfish last night, a mid-20. So, uh, so he's had a nice little trip, but not that mine hasn't, of course, you know, I've had two catfish, both being 40s, one a PB at 48, so I'm certainly not complaining about this trip at all, even though I've had the, just the two, but, uh, but yeah, uh, I've got my camera at the moment sheltering under the peak of my bivvy because it is actually really blustery this morning, so, uh, I'm sheltering my camera so I don't get any wind noise on this bit of footage, but uh, but yeah, as it stands at the moment, it's 10 o'clock, we're due to pack up at 1 o'clock, so uh got precisely three hours of fishing time left. I've already taken a few non-essentials already down to the van, like me, like me bed and me cool box and stuff I don't need anymore and for these last few hours. But, uh, We've had a bit of rain this morning that wasn't forecast, but so the bivvy's nice and wet, so that's pretty typical. But uh, yeah, like I said, three hours of fishing time left, so it's not over yet, guys. Only takes a second to get a bite. But yeah, unless any fish do come in the last three hours, then I'll, uh... Oh! And do we have a bite live? Do we have a bite live? I think we do! We do have a bite live! Darren! Darren! Oh. oh, cut me off on the island again. Oh. 
Well guys, we did have a bite live on camera, but exactly the same thing. I just couldn't get down. I just didn't get down that bank quick enough because uh, middle rod on the corner of the island, same place I've had. Some, well, that's my third bite from that spot now, guys. And it, well, it ran that way and round the corner of the island again, guys. And uh, I think what I should have done, rather than talking to you guys, saying I think I've got a live bite, I should have just gone and picked up the rod and ran down the bank and got the angle on the rod. But uh, so that third time that's happened now, cut off on the island. Oh, oh well, at least we saw a live bite, guys. Right, just peaked my PB for the third time. Um, 43 pound this one. Um, cheers for Chris for getting it in for us with a glove. Yeah, no worries. Oh. I'd say because this is your PB, that's why I've got my camera out for this oh. one as well. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Do you want to come and hold it? They are just massive, these fish. Oh, you never get bored of catching them, do you? Look at that. 43 pound on the nose. That's three times I've beat my PB on this trip for catfish. Unbelievable, isn't it? Absolutely excellent. Oh, oh right, he's having a poo as well, look. But look at that. Absolutely stonker. Oh, stonker of fish. 43 pound on the nose. Excuse me. And uh, oh, 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 I've got no spare change of clothes. Well done on your PB, mate. <gasps> That's really cold. You're right, that is freezing. <laughs> hey, but it's worth it, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh. My pants are wet. <laughs> I don't care. I'm as happy as a pig in shit. <laughs> right guys, that is it. We are now at the end of this four day session. Uh, it's been a good session, mate. It has been a it's, brilliant session. Yeah. Excellent session. My session has been a little bit slower than Darren's. Uh, Darren had seven fish in all. I didn't want to film all of Darren's fish because it would have made our blogs very samey. So I only got Darren's last one, which was his new PB. Yeah. So, um, again, yeah, well done on that, mate. That's three times but, this session. Yeah. I beat my PB. <laughs> so, you <laughs> should have had three buckets through really. Yeah, yeah, I got but, the one. <laughs> uh, I only had the two fish, guys, but the two fish I did have a 44 and a 48. I am not complaining about that at all. Unfortunately, I did lose three fish all to the same corner island cut off, but two I couldn't do nothing about. The last one you saw on film. Maybe if I was quicker to the rods, I could have saved that one. Who knows? But anyway, I'm not complaining. I'm walking away from this session with a 48 pound PB and that's certainly not to be sniffed at. So I'm very happy with, you know, the two that I did get. Yeah, and me, I'm happy. Unbelievable yeah. session, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Anyway, guys, right, I'm going to sign off there. I don't actually know where or when I'm going to be fishing next, but till then, tight lines guys cheers Chris bye 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 bye